everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. I'm going to go to IBM.com. Oh, boy. I mean, a lot of people are like, wow, that's not really a media shite. No, it's not. But they do have a, what they call the Think Blog, and every so often, they'll come out with a five and five. And this is five concepts that they believe will be achieved within five years. This is IBM, and uh, this kind of gives a little insight into where these emerging technologies are today and where they'll be in five years. Check this out. Great scientific leaps rarely happen incrementally. They come from setting big ambitious goals that move discovery forward. It says, think of the Wright brothers' determination to fly or President Kennedy's pledge to put a man on the moon or IBM Research's resolve to build a computer that could understand spoken language and beat the greatest human champions on Jeopardy. The bigger the goal, the greater the impact to society. And this approach has been the hallmark of our IBM research since our founding more than 70 years ago, and it's responsible for many world-changing inventions. In that spirit today, we are renewing our annual five and five predictions about five technologies that we believe will have the potential to change the way people work, live, and interact during the next five years. Now this, my friends, is where it gets crazy. So... For this year's five and five, he says, we're stuck by the powerful implications of ongoing efforts to make the invisible world visible from the macroscopic level down to the nanoscale. Innovation in this area could en enable us to dramatically improve farming, enhance energy efficiency, spotlight harmful pollutions before it's too late, and prevent premature cognitive decline. Our global team of scientists and researchers are steadily bringing this capacity from the realm of science fiction to the real world. Here they are. Five things they say will happen in the next five years. They say with our AI, our words will be a window into our mental health. In five years, what we say and write will be the indicators of our mental health and physical well-being. Patterns in our speech and writing analyzed by cognitive systems with enabled, will enable doctors and patients to predict and track early stage developmental disorders, mental illnesses, and degenerative neurological diseases more effectively. Let me stop there. Just by our words and our speech, what we write and what we say. A lot of you uh, love social networking. Uh, get out there, uh, do videos. Um, you may be active in your community. Imagine what kind of power uh, government could have at their disposal if they had an AI that combed through what you wrote, combed through what you say, all your emails, everything like that, and then deem you mentally incompetent due to the fact that their AI expert says you are. And then you would have to go and disprove it. And how do you do that when the AI and the doctors say you are? So this could have very bad consequences. Again, road to hell, paid by good intentions, right? Good intentions are, yeah, let's, uh, let's catch these things early. Bad, they can frame anybody they want for anything, anywhere, at any time. They can deem you mentally unfit or incompetent. Take away your Second Amendment rights, right? That kind of thing. Uh, just it's, it's a total and complete... Um, open canvas, blank canvas for them to paint you in any way they can and have AI back it up. The next one, hyperimaging. And AI will give us superhero vision, they say. In five years, our ability to see beyond visible light will reveal new insights to help us understand the world around us. This technology will be widely available throughout our daily lives, giving us the power to perceive or see through objects in opaque environmental conditions anytime, anywhere. Now, the, the human being sees less than 5% of the visible light spectrum. A lot of the spiritual things that happen around us happen around us, and we don't see it. However, with AI giving us superhero vision, why, we might be able to peer into those realms. And what are we going to see when that happens? That, my friends, could be very, very um, uh, bad could be good too but also look what they said we can see through objects in opaque environmental conditions anytime anywhere 
just more erosion of privacy, which is fast becoming a thing of the past, you know, where people will be born and they won't even know or have a concept of what privacy is. I would even wager to say that privacy, the word will become extinct because with AI to assist their human uh, slave masters into seeing through things and peering into our lives in every way, shape, or form, there will be no such thing as privacy anymore. The third thing, macroscopes, will help us understand Earth's complexity in infinite detail. It says the physical world be before our eyes only gives us a small view into what an infinitely interconnected and complex world we live in is. Instrument, uh, instrumentation and collecting masses of data for every from every physical object, big and small, and bringing it together will reveal comprehensive solutions for our food, water, and energy needs. Now, this I can understand if we go down the road of, say, free energy, whereas you have an AI computer that can do the calculations that humanity might have to take a long time to do to be able to unlock some of the secrets that Tesla uh, really started to break into at the turn of the 20th century. So we've already seen well over 100 years of us basically stagnating using his 19th century alternating current as a primary means of delivering power to the masses. Well, this could change in a very short period of time if we utilize this AI ability to do complex comp computations fast, you know, that's just one way to do it. And then food and water crises, who knows what can be solved with uh, this type of technology. <clears throat> Number four, medical labs on a chip will serve as health de detectives for tracing diseases at the nanoscale. It says new techniques that detect tiny bioparticles found in bodily fluids will reveal clues that when combined with the data from the <clears throat> Internet of Things, will give a full picture of our health and diagnose diseases before we experience any symptoms. This is like the Minority Report version of your health. And interestingly enough, uh, years ago, there was a series of videos that was put out by an organization called America 2050. You can go to America2050.org and see their site. But one of them was when you're totally and completely plugged into the Internet of Things and 5G will really really bring this about fast. And they're looking at that being implemented no later than 2022. Um, you at all points in time, say you, you, you call the pizza place to get a pizza and they put in your information and whoop pops up that you have high blood pressure and um, high cholesterol. So they give you healthy alternatives in order to give you choice, you know? So instead of having that greasy pizza, perhaps you should have an alfalfa sprout hoagie or something like that. Instantly, because you, your data, your health habits, your habits in general are already known to the AI. And your life is slowly but surely steered in every direction by this AI. You become a drone, a literal drone living in a matrix. Now, we already live in a matrix, but this is going to take the matrix and basically create one within it. I mean, this is how crazy it's going to get. The final thing. Smart sensors will detect environmental pollution at the speed of light. Environmental pollutants won't be able to hide thanks to new sensing technologies that utilize silicon photo, uh, photonics to accurately pinpoint and uh, diagnose and monitor the quality of our environment. Together with physical analytics combined with artificial intelligence, these technologies will unlock insights to help us prevent pollution and fully harness the promise of cleaner fuels like natural gas. Now, this combination of data explosion and exponential com computation growth over the last 50 years has opened up whole new challenges for us to work on and solve together, challenges we never would have tackled or have foreseen in the past. This digital disruption is transforming the world around us. And I would have to totally agree how we end up utilizing this technology how it's rolled out, if we have any control over its rollout, once they um, really make it mainstream, is what's going to make or break us, I truly believe, you know, at this point. 
And IBM saying a lot of this is going to come out in the next five years. So we shall see, won't we? I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.